morning and welcome to another Celica video, my 1991 Toyota Celica GT. In this video we're going to have another look at the ABS brakes again. So in the last ABS video, we just followed the ABS plug and tried to disconnect it inside, but that's, that didn't work. We'll have a look in the, uh, try the sensor itself. Now it's a 10 mil. Let's see if I can get the sensor undone. Trouble is it. Original parts are available. Oh, I managed to crack that off. Let's spray it with some penetrating fluid. Just bring it around so you can hopefully see a bit better. What I'm doing, I just put the guys up. See if you can pry this sensor off without doing any damage. This might be easier said than done. Uh, again, douse this with some brake cleaner. That is just that one bolt. Yep. Yeah. No idea if this will work or not. That's a bit hard for you to see. Trying to persuade you with pliers might help. to damage the sensor. Trouble is, it's not like the front hub where you can uh, spray it. Oh, I've done. Take a look at it from a different angle. Thank you. 
don't think that's going to budge. So I think I'll just have to uh, put it back and think of something else. I don't think there's any way of getting to the hub from behind. So, I think that's a bit of a fail. It's a couple of days later, and I thought I'll read up on the, the manuals and see if there's another way of getting this uh, sensor out. And actually, actually there is. Yeah, you can you can take the hub off and you can get to the sensor from the rear. In fact, I might not need to take the sensor out. So, to get this hub off, it's 14, four 14mm bolts. I've got the big guns out with the uh, half inch ratchet. I had to take the uh, brake disc off and the, uh, the caliper and the carrier. The carrier bolts were an absolute pig to undo. Because you had to get round to the back if you can see the holes there. And there's not much space in so you can't get them with an impact gun or even a half inch ratchet. But combination of a breaker bar, I could just get them with a breaker bar and an half inch. 40mm socket just to crack it off and then uh, did a combination of the, uh, the 3 8 ratchet, the combination spanner, the offset spanner, that's it, that's the name, and 40mm ratchet spanner, it come off in the end. But these uh, six sided sockets are very useful. Stop, stop rounding bolts, I thought we were going to round the bolts off a uh, I mean that's one of them, it's starting to round off there, but I'm not sure I get it all back on, but I'll grease them up before they go back on. So let's see if we can get these out. Uh, I believe they're 40mm, yep they are 40mm, so what I'll do, oh, start with the ratchet, start with the bricker bar, just to crack them off. Look. And I need the extension, <coughs> that's one of them cracked off. There's a handy hole in the hub for, for getting to these. Just crack them off one by one. Let's move the light so I can see where the winds there. <sighs> Some of these shoes get in the way. So I might have to use a Brake shoes are just getting in the way. Right, that's it. Just pull the shoes back. And then do the same on this one. Brake shoes are right in way. So I might have to take these brake shoes off. Didn't want to, but needs must and all that. I'll just I'll just stop it here once I've got I probably need to just take this one off to get to these two bolts so I'll stop here right, so it wasn't too bad I just had to undo a top spring for this rear shoe it gave me enough room to get in with the ratchet 
to just get this last bowl out. I've got my magnetic pickup tool. So no, it's still not quite out. It's not quite out of the thread. I'll finish it off by hand. Let's see. And there we go, that's the last bolt out. So the sub should just pull straight off. And it does. And we can see, uh, should be able to can get to the ABS sensor. Yeah, we can. I'll just quickly show you. Shall we? Get the torch set up. Uh, I'll show you what. There we go, there's the other side of the ABS sensor. It looks to be quite clean in there. And uh, same with the ring. Ooh. So, not sure what the problem is with that one. It looks to be alright. It's been, it's been greased, so... I thought it might be just a matter of cleaning up. I mean, it could be... What I'll do is I'll clean the grease off this, because this is the pick up for the ABS, it's possible the grease is uh, throwing it out, although it might seem a bit unlikely, but it's all, it's all clean inside that hub, so anyway we'll clean this uh, excess grease off, because that could could be causing a problem, so I'll do that and I'll put it all back together, I'll do uh, do all that off camera, you don't have to see, uh, see me here reassembling all, all this hub, but yeah that looks alright, so the hub's back on, but before I uh, reassemble the brakes Let's see if we've uh, cured this ABS problem. Probably not, but I suppose we'll wait to find out. So, at the moment of truth. Nope, ABS light is still on. So, it's, it's not the pickup. So it could could well be the sensor, but we now get that out without uh, doing too much damage. And of course, it could still be a, a connector to the ABS module, which we've yet to find. But what we'll do is uh, we'll see if we can clear the cord, because the light might still be on until the uh, till the cord's been cleared. Because if you remember from the previous ABS video. It did generate a code, so I should quickly jump online to see how, how to do that. Well, as it happens, I don't need to go online. I've still got it on my phone, a PDF file for the braking system for the Celica. So, following the manual, the first thing we do is turn the ignition on. So, next we go to the diagnostic connector and we show terminals T, C, yeah, T, C and E1 which is that one now I've got a new uh, new special service tool there we go basically bent ba paper clip so we we short them two terminals and then after we've done that we just keep pressing the brake pedal which is probably not a good idea with the caliper off That doesn't seem to have worked. Right, something else we need to do before all that and uh, disconnect. I think it's this service connector. I think this is the one. I'm not entirely certain, but let's see if that works. Can't do this one handed, so I'm going to, have to put you down while I disconnect the connector. believe that's the one. So we'll go back in the car and we'll see what's happening. So let's see if that's cleared the cords. And so let's see if you bring up any other cords.
So it's been up in a record of 35. So the code's still present. So I've tried it again. And the ABS light's not gone, and I'll just show you what happened. As you can see, ABS light is still lit, so there's a problem somewhere. It could be a faulty sensor or a break in the wiring, because that code 35 is a open circuit. So I might need to get to that bloody awkward plug again, see if it's an open if it's open circuit on the sensor. But that'll be subject of a future video. I'm gonna leave it for now. But we've eliminated a, a dirty pickup ring. So that's gonna be it for this particular video. We've eliminated problems with the uh, the pickup for the ABS sensor. So that's one area eliminated. So it's either the sensor or the wiring that's uh, the cause of the open circuit. And then I should be able to get that ABS sensor out if it needs a removing anyway i hope you enjoyed this one please remember to like subscribe share comment and don't forget to click that bell for notifications as ever thanks for watching and i'll see you